Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. So I got a quick, uh, quick update on the farm scene here, and then I got, I'll show you guys one other thing I'm working on too. Um, and it, and uh, I'm gonna say this: the scene here is probably 95% complete. So the only thing I'm really waiting on is uh, this stuff from uh, Still Floor Miniature, I believe, is the company in Germany. So this is the, uh, the product number and the and the company there. Uh, I believe it's called Filigram Busha. Um, and these are the product numbers I'm using. So 10, 14, 12, and 13. And it's fall, light summer or something, and, and full summer. Um, so so those are the, th the three things I'm waiting on right now. Now, um, again, if you guys go into Google and look those up, they'll, they should pop up pretty quickly um, under Silfor Miniatures' website. And they're from Germany, so you got to give it like two or three weeks to get through customs and everything to come in. But um, the realism is, is incredible. So I'm gonna get a quick bunch here and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. So hopefully it kind of focuses, but this is the, uh, the bushes. It's almost like super trees, but with uh, really fine leaves on them. So they'll look really good. And I'll, I'll kind of just show you guys what I mean here. I'll plant them real quick in this. You can see it, it, it just looks, just like overgrown. I didn't even do anything to them. I just put them down. So, um, but they look really good. And, uh, and I ended up going through what I had because I used them all over the layout. Um, but uh, about 80 bucks or so American. It's 100 something on the Euro transaction. Um, but they look fantastic. I definitely would recommend it if you guys are going to do the, the higher quality scenery route. And uh, what I mean by that is, I don't mean like, a, you know, whatever you guys can afford is whatever you should go for. Um, I am pretty fortunate with the, the layout size I have. I don't have to buy any huge amounts of things or continuously buy huge amounts of things. So things that, um, you know, this th this is probably the most expensive scenery thing that I buy besides like super trees. Um, that's, you know, $80 worth or so. This will last me the rest of the layout pretty much, I'm sure, um, with the bushes that I'm buying. So... Uh, think of it like that, um, but there's a ton of other things out there. I know Woodland Scenic Sulfurs and other types of bushes um, are probably less expensive and you can get them more readily. Um, they, these are the types of bushes. They're like a tree material, same thing. Um, I don't use them too much because I feel like there's, once you do the other material, it's just kind of like going backwards a little bit. So I actually have one of those planted right there straight ahead. So you guys can kind of zoom in on it. And see what it looks like so um, I think it looks good I just think the uh, other material I'll show you guys here this is the uh, the other material right there that runs all the way down so I think it just looks a little better that's my personal opinion um, but you know if you only spend the money on it then sure uh, and then I got a couple other things I could show you guys so uh, Martin Welberg Scenic Studios, it's another thing uh, Scenic Express, Express just came out with. So they, this, I don't, I don't have a product number here for you guys um, on this one, but in particular, I'll show you guys what it looks like though. It's kind of like this, uh, almost like this bush that you generally find alongside the water or a weed. And that's it right there, straight ahead. Um, so it is, it's probably like 10 bucks or so, and you get 10 of them, so a dollar each or something like that, but they look really good something that I would definitely consider buying more of and putting them around the layout a little more. Um, you know, again, if you go to a train show or something and, and, and Scenic Express is there, they're usually uh, pretty good with the the items. So if you get them, you can probably get them a lot cheaper because they're trying to you know, move a lot of stuff. Um, and then I got the Hecky, I believe that's the name of the company, Hecky Wildgrass Mat. I use this a lot. Um, that's the product number at the top there um and uh you usually find these on ebay and stuff they're they're around um, i don't know if scenic express carries them um if not i'm sure some other some other hobby shops do um i use that for the the tall grass you guys see in here so that's where they simulate the uh, overgrowth of the, the ground floor of the forest and stuff um i think it just makes it look a little bit more realistic especially when you push bushes into it and everything and the nice thing about that is you can stretch it and just throw it right down the scenery you don't have to really glue it in place. It'll it'll just take the form of whatever it is. 
So if you want to take it up later on, you can. And then the last thing I do is I use flowers. So uh, it's these types of grass stuffs. I got these on Scenic Express as well. I don't have a proc number for these ones, guys. If you uh, Leave me a comment if you really want to know. I'll, if you guys know what it is. Um, but there's a red, yellow, and then white and purple. So I have them. I kind of scatter them all over the place. Um, you know, something that you definitely see uh, in New England. So uh, I will take a quick overview of the scene real quick, and I'll jump on to one more thing. So uh, you guys can see here, this is the idea. Little farm field, drive through, and then you get to the uh, field. So it'll be like a forest, and it opens up to a farm field. And I also put in the Woodland Scenics uh, barbed wire fence set, and that took me probably 10, 15 minutes to do. Really easy, you just unwind it and then, uh, you know, poke holes and plant. So it took me probably 10, 15 minutes to do the whole thing. So that's two sets right there that run from the length of that fence all the way down around the hay bales and, and out. So I finished the water as well. And you guys can kind of see I added the ripples and everything to it. So I think it came out really good. I went a little too deep, I think, on this side, but oh well. Uh, I think it looks really good though. So, and then one thing, one other thing I want to talk about. So I did this probably years ago, guys. Um, since I had such a small layout, showing time changing, it's kind of a hard thing to do. Now, again, I'll, I'll kind of sh show you guys how the scene looks in a second. Um, so what I wanted to do was to change from one year to the next in the layout series. I decided to have something that would essentially of significance change to kind of let you guys simulate what it is, what, what year it is. So 1981, we have the old bridge, and I'll go we'll get that real quick. So 1981, we have this old bridge, which is this. Now again, this is just a Rick's product kit. I use a concrete spray paint from Rustoleum to do this. So, uh, and again, this just comes in and out. And I left it that way because in case anybody hits it in the aisle and it falls over, you know, uh, it doesn't take the whole scene with it or mess up any scenery. And then we have uh, a 1982 comes around and we have a bridge under construction. So the bridge is getting replaced. So I have a whole scene to go with it, you know, uh, dump trucks and everything. And then if you watch this, Built this whole thing to come right out. I can drop the new bridge in 1983 right in. So it's kind of a neat thing to, to kind of get around. And if you want it to go the extra mile too, and operation wise, you can actually add in like slow waters and everything through here. And, and over certain times, you can go through there. Um, kind of like the real thing. And to give you guys an idea of, of um, how much things cost to kind of represent the scene, this whole bridge to make was roughly $8. Um, the figures cost more than anything else. I got a bunch of um, metal rod that was like two bucks or something from a hobby shop. I made rebars that they're pouring it. The the vehicles are really the, the costly thing. Uh, this crane here cost me sixteen dollars on eBay. It's actually, um, really good kit, a uh, really good um, uh, model. I mean, scaled down HO. It's probably the right size. Um, but again, uh, just real real simple things. And I think it really makes a huge difference, and it's pretty cool in photos and everything too. You could really uh, go the extra mile with with modeling. Um, so, uh, just something that they definitely think about. Um, you guys don't have to have a huge layout, like I said, that has to have all these different things and, and kind of simulate what it is. But if you're operating in a particular time period era, it's it's a cool thing to do to have something that's really you know the only thing that changes is I just move the bridge and and uh, put another one in or whatever it is and and add some vehicles and that's it. So uh, just something for you guys to think about. Um, so this was for our, our upcoming op session here. Um, I said to change the year. So that's what I kind of do with it. And again, I don't do like crazy things like this all the time. This is really just one of the things that I do. Um, but that's pretty much it for this uh, quick look, I guess. Um, I'll kind of give you guys a a finished look at the scene once it's all set and I get all the materials in but I'll leave you with a quick overview so you guys can kind of see how it looked uh, I don't have any stock photos or anything of the other scene I do have some videos of it I think you guys can go back and look at if you want to see the comparisons and stuff but um I think it came out really good and uh you know I'll 
definitely show you guys the finished product and so you guys can take a look at it. All right, so I'll talk to you guys uh, in the next quick update, I guess.